Magnus Carlsen winning uh, also two games against Arjun Eregaisi to, to clinch that match. But Shakriar Mamadiarov and Jan Kristof do that. That will be a game four and a, a must win situation for Mamadiarov. Any other result means Duda wins the match. And same situation for Anish Giri. He has to win it to take it tie breaks. Any other result means Prague take all three points. But Magnus Carlsen, after three games, he has finished for the day, winning another match. Let's hear from the world number one. Magnus wrapping up the match in three games. You made it look easy today. What clicked? <laughs> I mean, um, the last game, he, was, he kind of uh, didn't want anything to draw, so. He, uh, I mean, he played for a, for a win in a position that was was a draw. And uh, I mean, earlier he, I'd, after I blundered, uh, he played very well for a while, so he was much better. But it wasn't very easy to win. Uh, and then when I got this move c5, I thought I was sort of okay. Like he probably should take the uh, bishop and then the pawn. But then I have very, very good drawing chances in the game. I think he has nothing, but. Um, Clearly, this game was a product of the um, uh, of the score in the match. Not much else. Interesting opening approach by you today in the match. Was that part of the whole strategy? Uh, I always seem to get some interesting opening uh, openings. But yeah, I mean, the last game, like E5, was just that was just a miss. Um, the, the position was like decent, generally slightly better for him with compensation, but uh, but okay. But yeah, E5 was just. Uh, uh, I didn't see that my queen would be exiled, so I was I was a bit lucky there. Magnus, so far you've had little trouble against Arjun in your matches. What do you think works uh, about you against his style? I think his openings uh, aren't good enough. So I think uh, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, people like Prague, for instance, he always uh, often puts a lot of pressure in the in the openings, and uh, Arjun uh, uh, he doesn't seem to. Um, doesn't seem to uh, catch me there, so then it's not so easy. Two match wins, great score, but also pleased with your play? Nope. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I feel like I generally do okay. Like, my instincts are good, but I, I'm just missing stuff. So, yeah, uh, I'll uh, try to do better, but obviously, the score is good. All right, good luck. <laughs> Not entirely happy, Magnus Carlsen. What is your verdict uh, on his play today, David? Ah, he's, he's so self-critical. <laughs> he's so harsh on himself, but that's what makes him uh, such a champion. And yeah, he's played well. There were a couple of moments where, as he mentioned there, he could have played a bit better. He mentioned the word getting lucky, um, but great champions make their own luck. He kind of put his pieces on strange squares occasionally, but he made it work. And um, that's what everyone has to do. Um, no matter what position you get, you have to turn things in your favor, coordinate your pieces. And he took his chance when they came that was the key and uh, Arjun it felt like he was always on the back foot maybe that's because of the time zone playing so early in the morning he still hasn't quite adapted he's not at his best Arjun Aragazi yeah.